Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the all-new 2022 Numar Ventana. Now this coach behind me is the 4334. I know you've all been waiting to see the new floor plan, so I'm gonna show you it in full detail. This is the Colfax exterior. I think it's beautiful. There's two other exteriors you can choose from, and then you can always come to National Indoor RV Centers where we're happy to help you choose your custom color. So that's one of the things that's great about Numar. They let you customize some things in your coach, and we're happy to help walk you through that process, make it really fun. It's just like building your own custom home. And when you're spending this much money, why not? So one of the things that I really love about Numar is that they use full paint, masterpiece finished paint. So the paint's beautiful. You've got the diamond shield across the front cap, and then check out this beautiful windshield. So this is how your vacation begins. You sit in the driver's seat, and you've got this big motion picture movie screen, that's what I like to think of it, of the country as you travel. Numar mounts it very automotive-like. Um, there's no just gr um, rubber grommet that is set in, so it just looks just like your car and it's just the best way to see the country. Also notice the beautiful chrome convex exterior mirrors. They are internally heated and controlled, and they've also got the turn signal in them. So at the very top of the coach here, you're gonna notice you've got your marker lights, Then just below that, you've got your first camera. That's the first of several cameras that I'm gonna point out around the Ventana. This is an option on the Ventana where you can get the 360 camera. I love the 360 camera option because when you're driving the coach, you can actually see a 360 view of your coach so I can see all the cars around me. It just gives me a, a sense of security knowing what is around me. Also, when you're in the campground, you can flip on that camera and you can see what's around your coach as well. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I'll point those cameras out as we go. Now, as I mentioned, it's an option. So there's a lot of options that are available on your Numar products. And that's where our uh, RV lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers come in really handy because we'll walk you through those process. We want to make sure you get all the important options, but there's something that you don't want, you don't have to do it. We'll, we'll just help you through that whole process. So make sure you give us a call and we'll get, get you started on your order today. As we come around the passenger side of the Ventana, you'll see another camera. So this camera is gonna be for your right turn signal. When you hit that on, you're gonna be able to see down the full length of the passenger side of the coach, and you'll have one on the left side as well, the driver's side. Now, when we get to the front door, just a couple of things I want to point out. Again, that beautiful paint job here, you can run your finger along those transitions and you can barely fill them. They just do such a nice job. They use BASF paint. And then we've got the um, dual pane tinted windows throughout this coach. Now there's several ways that you can get into the Ventana. So we've got our key fob, which we love the key fob, so we can lock all of our cargo bays and unlock them right here. We can unlock and lock the entry as well. Then we've got the key pad here. So say you're off having a wonderful day at Disney World and you need to let a, a service technician into your coach while you're away you can give them uh, their own unique key um, combination to get into your coach and you don't have to be here. So that's kind of nice without having to get out your keys. And then of course we have the doorbell, which I love. You know, I, I hate going to my customers' coaches in the morning when they're out on the lot at one of our locations um, at National Indoor RV Centers and waking them up. So it's kind of nice to have that doorbell so you can alert them without having to bang on the door. Right below the door handle, you're gonna see 4334. Now, for those of you that are new to Numar, you may not know what this is code for. 43 is the length of the coach, so usually it's gonna be 43 and 10 inches, 43, 11 inches. I haven't checked, but the, it's gonna be one of those two. And then 34 is the floor plan. 34 this year is a brand new floor plan, so I'll be anxious to show you that when we get inside. Now, as we go back, we've got the 315 Michelin tires. So 315 is the width of the tires. I always thought it was like how big they were, but it gives you more tread on the ground. It's gonna give you a smoother ride. Michelin tires, always good. And then you've got the aluminum wheels. So Durabrite, you don't need to polish them. They're gonna look great. 
Uh, another thing I want to talk to you about while we're here at the tires, because tire safety is so important, I want to make sure that you go and watch my retro band video where I talk about our spare within the tire. Um, great product, everyone should have it, especially when you want to enjoy this lifestyle and protect your family at the same time. Another thing that Numar does that's really great is they put a steel compartment that protects your fuel line. So your fuel fill is right here. We've got a 100 gallon tank um, fuel tank and that's dual fill so you can fill it from the passenger side or the driver's side. Another feature that you're going to love. Um, and then you've got that nice steel plate that protects that fuel line. So they're always, it's always about safety. Also notice the beautiful um, flush sidewalls. There's no lip there. Just it makes it look nice. And then we've got the Girard awnings that run the full length of the coach. The Vitana comes standard with the Girard awnings. It's a huge upgrade because it gives it that bus um, look for the coach. So very sleek. Then you can option in different window awning packages. So you can do it. We did the Girard um, carefree window awnings on three of the windows here. We also with those Girard awnings, you can option in the Nova pitch, which gives you a little bit more shade. So with those Girard awnings, you get the remote control. So you can just unlock it so that it's turn it on. Zero, it's gonna take out both awnings at the same time. So you're just gonna hit the out button. And both awnings will come out together. If you only want one, then you can go to just one or two, go to two. You can also turn the lights on and off from here. So now that I've got my awnings out, look at that great amount of shade that I have here. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful day in Nashville out at the parks. Love, love my job, I have the best job. And now let's have a little entertainment. So you can option in. The Exterior Entertainment Center, huge option. Most of my customers like to have that. But again, that's something that we can discuss when you call us at National Indoor RV Centers. And the great thing about this is that it swivels out. So you can direct that whatever, wherever your guests are. And then sometimes you just need a little bit of a tilt because the sun's coming in. And so you can do that as well. There's just a little lever here on the back, which you pull forward. And then you've got that tilt. We've got the 43 inch Samsung TV with the Bose sound bar. We've got two USB outlets, one 10 outlet, and then we've got our TV off and dash radio. So say you're outside enjoying nature, you wanna have a little music, whatever uh, music you're playing at, on your dash, you can bring that right out here to enjoy outside. Just past the entertainment center, to the center of the coach we've got our passenger side security light. We've got another camera that's gonna to contribute to that 360 view. And then we've got a marker light here. Now, if you're not familiar with Numar, you might be wondering what this little door is in the sidewall of the center of the coach. So this is an emergency egress door, another option, another safety feature that you can get with Numar. So I'll show you how this works from the inside. There is no handle from the outside but it's a great way to get out if you are in danger, need to get out of your coach. In the event of a fire, this is a way that you can quickly get out of your coach. Another thing to keep you from worrying about fire danger with an RV is go and watch my ProTang video where it's a fire suppression system that's only offered through National Indoor RV Centers that I think is so important. Make sure you watch that ProTang video. Time to check out all of the storage that you get in this 34 foot Numar. Look at this big storage compartment. We've got the nice lined baggage area. We've got two 110 outlets and a 12 volt. Now this is an area that some people will um, like to add a refrigerator or freezer for outside drinks um, or deep freeze. If you're you know, traveling across country, maybe fishing, want to freeze some fish along the way or ice cream, you know, those important things. But I wanna show you how big these compartments are. So from the top of the door, 30 inch opening here. And then this is going to be 12, 27 inches deep. Now in this compartment, we've added a pass-through tray. 
So this is an optional item. Again, you can decide if you want that or not, but that means you're gonna be able to extend this tray all the way on the passenger side and then this far on the driver's side as well. So it makes getting to some of your items a lot easier. Now with the pass-through tray, you are gonna lose some height. So just to give you an example, that way you can decide, weigh the pros and cons for yourself. Again, the opening is just right at 30 inches. Now with the tray, you have the height. You have about mm, 28 and a half inches. So with the chassis rail, that's gonna limit, and the tray, you're gonna cover about, it's gonna, you've got about 14 inches in the pass-through area. So I've actually seen people build another little shelf here. They store camping chairs, and then they've got that pass-through. You just have to keep your bins a little bit lower when you've got the tray plus the chassis rail. You also have space to the side, so you can make it work, but I just try to give you all the information I can so that you can decide what's best for you. Now in this compartment, we didn't add the pass-through tray. So you can see, you're still gonna have that 30 inches opening, but when you get inside, let's just go from that rail, you're gonna be right at 28 and a half, and then with your chassis rail, you're gonna be at 18, 18 inches. So you get a couple, few more inches that way. Um, Numara is also so good to give us some extra tiles in case we ever have a cracked tile. Typically with the Star Foundation, the strong, true, and robust foundation that um, the steel super structure that Numara reinforces the chassis with, you don't have to worry about that, but they give it to you just in case. We also have optioned in the central vac. So you've got all the hoses and everything you need there for your central vac. Now in this compartment, I like to do, this is just a half, a half tray, but you can see that this is a really, now remember, this is just me measuring. Don't hold me to it, folks, if I'm a little bit off. But this tray is about 55 inches deep. So it'd be really hard to get back to the items in the very back there if you didn't have a tray. So this just pulls out nicely, just one way, doesn't go through because inside there uh, looks like you've got your Oasis heating system. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but it is nice and easy to use. You've got the uh, central vac system here. This is great because you can also hook up that hose outside. So if you want to vacuum out your baggage compartment or your car, you can just pull your car up alongside the coach and do it right here, which is nice. We've got our um, direct TV splitter here. We've got our slide room controls and we've got our awning controls, two 110 outlets. Here we have our pegboard. Um, baggage area. So this is great if you want to take along tools. Um, you can store them this way. It's not a lot of space. You can also bring along extra fluids, oil or DEF um, and keep it here. It's just nice that Numar gives you access to this area. You've got your holding tanks on the other side of this panel. So as we come down here to our uh, tag axle, you notice that we have, you can tell, I can tell that this has a passive steer tag axle. So you can tell that by, I sort of relate it to belly buttons, I know that's weird, but innies and outies. So if your front axle, it's an outie, and the tag axle, it's an outie, they match, you know that you've got passive steer. So that's gonna give you a tighter turning radius with this coach, and you're gonna get that anytime um, you're 40 feet or bigger on a Ventana. We also, this coach also comes with a V-Ride. So V-Ride is through Freightliner. It's gonna give you added roll stability, um, a smoother ride, less sway when you're taking tight turns. Um, you're gonna definitely feel the difference with the V-Ride suspension. As we get to the back end of the coach, I want you to notice there's a vent right here. That's for your dryer. Another optional item is the washer and dryer in the Ventana, we optioned it with that. Our rear marker light here, and then 
we've got our chassis batteries. So chassis batteries here with our disconnect switch. Now, if we are not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer in one of our five locations, right now we are in Nashville, still not totally open for storage in Nashville yet, but our new building will be coming and we'll store 300 coaches indoors there, always plugged in to um, 50 amp service. So we've got locations in Nashville, Surprise, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, Louisville, Texas, suburb of Dallas, and Lawrenceville, Georgia, suburb of Atlanta, with more locations coming. Just so that you know where we're located, you can get to us for service, um, any of your needs. But if we don't have you as one of our storage customers at one of our locations, and you do store your coach, you wanna make sure that you turn off that battery disconnect to your chassis batteries because you don't wanna have any parasitic draw that may cause you to come back to a dead coach. That's no fun. Also in this compartment, we've got our fuses for the back half of the coach behind this panel here. This is our diesel particulate filter. We have the coolant for our Oasis hydronic heating system. So finally, to the rear cap of the coach. First of all, I think it's just gorgeous. I love the graphics on the Ventana. Let's start at the very top. We've got our marker lights. Then you're gonna see another camera. So this is our rear camera. It also has audio, so they can hear you back here. Um, this is also going to contribute along. We've got another camera here for our 360 view that we're going to have, which you're gonna love. Um, the high brake light, which is nice. If you're, if you're towing a vehicle, then you're gonna be able to see that brake light. So let's talk about tow vehicles for just a second. Um, this coach has a 15,000 pound hitch, so you can easily tow your Chevy Suburban if that's what you wanna tow. Um, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna to wanna to come to National Indoor RV Centers where we can get your whole tow vehicle set up. Um, and we do it the right way. We do it the way it's supposed to be done so that you don't have any issues with that. So just let us know when you're ordering your coach, when you're buying the coach that you're looking at, we can do all of your tow vehicle setup for you from start to finish. The 4334 Ventana sits on the Freightliner XCR chassis with 400, 400 horsepower Cummins engine. Now, if you wanna know more about the Freightliner chassis, I've done a full factory tour. Freightliner opened up its doors and let me behind the curtains of everything and I think you're going to find it very interesting. Um, go check that out. Also want to let you know that the Ventana is uh, available on the Spartan chassis as well. We've got our hitch here. Again, that's a 15,000 pound hitch. We've got the seven way for your lights for your tow vehicle and we've got the airline for the brakes for your tow vehicle. Then if you look over here, we've got this little uh, pulley thing here. What it does is it will um, bleed the air out of the tank. So you're gonna get condensation in there and this will just take that out. So you want to do this at least once a month, if not every two weeks. I have so many people that ask me for the ladder. Well, the Ventana, you get your ladder. So to get into the engine compartment though, we're gonna have to take off the back keys. You're just gonna push those in. And then just lifts right out. So it's super easy to do. Then let's check out our engine compartment. So just manually comes up very easy. We've got the rear radiator with the Ventana, so radiator maintenance. You occasionally just want to take your garden hose, put your thumb over the end of it, no power washers, um, just a garden hose, and then gently just spray that radiator off, keep it clean, working more efficiently. Here we have our power steering fluid fill and check. You can see what level that's at just visibly, which is nice. Our transmission oil dipstick and fill, our engine oil fill, and our engine oil dipstick. And here is our fill for our coolant and we can check the level right here. We have our Deutsch plug here. If your technician at National Indoor RV Centers needs to plug in for diagnostic reasons. We have our uh, air filter minder. When this yellow reaches the red line, that means it's time to change your filter. Now, if you look over to the left of this, you're gonna see this silver pipe. Now, that's gonna bring the ambient air into the engine. 
And you see that kind of design there on the corner of the driver's side? That's what brings in the ambient air into the air cleaner and then into your engine. As I come around the driver's side, we've got the marker light for the rear of the driver's side of the coach. Nice little storage compartment here. Second storage compartment and it's lit. And that goes through, that's kind of a little pass through. So if you've got something that's long and narrow, you can get that in there. Our DEF, so that's our diesel exhaust fluid. You can see that we've got the monitor there so we can see that it's full um, and you can watch that. Just word to the wise, DEF doesn't like heat or sunlight. So you wanna make sure you keep it out of the sun. It has a shelf life of about a year. So just watch when you um, put it in and refill it that you're actually using that and keeping that fresh in your tank. We've got our little storage compartment here for our stinky slinky. I like to have that in a separate space so that it's not, uh, you know, rolling around in your wet bay. Just keeps everything nice and tidy, have its own spot. Next up is the wet bay. I love how they give us this nice stainless steel panel. Looks very high end and it's so nicely labeled. So does all the work for me. I could just let you read it. <laughs> but instead, I'll tell you how everything works here. Now, if you want more details about how everything works, watch my RVing 101 series. It's a four part series where I go on a trip from start to finish, hooking up all my wet bay and my electrical and then disconnecting so you can see all that. Breaks it down, makes it easy. I know that you all know how to do that, but just in case you don't, go check out that little series. Now we've got our winterization instructions here. Again, if we're not lucky enough to have you as a storage customer um, and you need to winterize your coach, you're gonna wanna read through these instructions. You've got your low point drains, your hot and your cold drains, and you'll use those when you go to winterize your coach. You can see here with the pink fluid in here that this coach has been winterized. Then we've got our external shower. That's a great feature to have if you've been out playing at the beach or hiking and you're dirty, you don't wanna take that into your coach, you can wash off, rinse off here. So I love that feature. We've got our water pump, we can turn it on here, our fresh tank fill here, sewage rinse. And again, that's not, um, you know, when I first thought about a sewage rinse, I'm thinking like a dishwasher where you're gonna have this forceful water, especially if you're just pushing water in and trying to push all that debris through. So one of the things that I talk about in that RV 101 series is a product that we like to use at National Indoor RV Center is called Microblaze. Basically, it's microorganisms that basically eat all that stuff and make it just pure water. So a little bonus tip for you there. And you've got our, your water filtration system, new water filter here. You've got your fresh water hose and it is on a power reel. We love our power reels, but when we go to hook that up, we've got these rubber grommets here. Slide that through here. You're gonna be able to shut the door and keep everything nice and sealed off to outdoor critters. We don't want those in our coach. Then we've got our connection here for our stinky slinky and we've got the valve for our sewage tank and our gray tank. Nice thing about this too is we've got this little tub. Numar knows that it's a wet bay for a reason and you're gonna get some water in there, but we don't wanna get water in our basement. So this is gonna keep this nice and um, all the water located here where we can open it up and drain it out. You're probably wondering what this exhaust is for. This is for your Oasis hydronic heating system and I will talk more about that in just a second. Now just above the wet bay, we've got our midship marker light. Super important compartment here because we've got our 50 amp shore power cord. And my favorite part about this is that it's on a power reel. If you've ever had to wind these up, they get dirty and then you have to mess with them. I love it being on that cord. Now again, you've got those rubber grommets so you can thread that right through there, keeping everything. And I usually like to keep a washcloth in here. so. As it automatically rolls in, I'll just hold that washcloth and kind of um, clean
clean it off as it goes in. There's the SureGuard uh, transfer switch that will protect the kitchen's electricity. We have our RV power monitor. This is so we can see if we've had a fault and what's going into it, and we can just screen up or screw down with those buttons there. And we have our cable connect here. Next up is the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. So that's new for 2022, the Chinook double loop system. So the double loop system doesn't have anything to do with the water heating part of the Oasis system. The Oasis system is what provides your on-demand hot water, continuous hot water, and your um, heat for your furnace. So with the double loop system, you can now it's more efficient because before when you had a single loop say you only wanted heat in the front of the coach but it's going to heat the back of the coach first and then the front so now you can heat the front of the coach or the back of the coach much more efficiently with a double loop um, system and that's new for 2022. Just above the hydronic hot water heating door we've got our last camera that's going to provide that 360 view that I'll get to show you when we're on our test drive of the Ventana. Now we're to our pass-through trays, or pass-through areas, and then we've got our pass-through tray that I will now, now extend. There's my towel to wash off that shore power cord. It's going to extend just as far on the driver's side as it did on the passenger side. Here are our house batteries, and they're in this nice tray. You've just got pins on both sides. You pull those pins, and then you can easily pull out the tray so you can get to those eight house batteries to maintain them. Last marker light for the driver's side of the coach, and then we've got our fuel fill for the driver's side. We come over here. This is going to be the exhaust for our generator. And just inside the door, We've got the fuses for the front part of the coach. If you have a power captain's chair that's not working, this is where you're gonna change that fuse. And we've got the spare fuses right here. We also have the T-bar to release the front cap so I can sh go and show you what's up front. Love the Numar badging, the Ventana name up front. Behind the front cap here, we've got our air horns here and here, and we've got our wussy horn here. I wanna make sure I always have those air horns on. Then between them, we've got our hot water line to the generator. This is super important because I always recommend to my customers, when you get to the campground, when you're done traveling for the day, you ought to rinse off the bugs off your front cap. Um, some of those pesky bugs will try to eat through the diamond shield. So uh, great, you can just hook up your garden hose here. You have hot water to help rinse off the windshield, get it nice and clean, and your front cap. Then we've got our air line here, quick connect. So if you want to fill up the kids' rafts for the lake or the river, you can do that here. This is our fuel oil filter for our hydronic heating system. Our 8,000 watt Onan generator and this is where you can reset that breaker if you need to. You can start it here, and this is your coolant fill and your oil fill. Got a light for this area, which is nice if you ever have to do any of this you know, work in the dark. We've got the condenser for our dash AC, and we have the hydraulic fluid for our leveling jacks. Now that the sun's shining, take a look at this beautiful exterior. I love the Colfax exterior, but now let's go in and I want to show you the Colfax interior. Let's head in. As I walk into the coach, I want to note the great hand rails that you get with the Numar. So on your way in or out of the coach, you're not going to worry about falling. It's going to actually help you pull yourself in if you need to because they're nice and sturdy and strong. The second thing that I love are these little compartments under the steps. How great is that? Look how deep they are. So you can get shoes, you could get boots in there, you can get dog leashes, you could keep dog food, pet food. Anyway, I just love that I have those options um, for space that's right here when I walk in or out of the coach that I can get to. Especially love it for dirty shoes because I don't wanna bring them in my gorgeous coach. 
Also right here in the front, you've got the battery disconnect, so you can turn that on or off as you enter the coach. And you have your cargo lock and unlock. You've got that on your key fob, but it's right here as well. And then we have our fire extinguisher. Hopefully we never need that, but it's very accessible from inside or outside the coach. So welcome to the inside of the Ventana. Let's go over the front part here. I want you to note that the cabinets are the Bermuda glazed maple with the matte finish in this Ventana. We optioned in the 43 inch Samsung overhead TV. Now, again, like I said, that's an option. So if you don't have it here, you'll have a small cabinet. A lot of people like the option of having that TV. And then we've got extra storage just to the right of the TV. This is probably one of the more com important compartments because it's sort of our control panel for the coach. So we've got our traveler satellite system here, which is going to be for high def TV. We've got our wine guard over the air antenna. So we're just going to turn that on and then we'll just say search and it will lock on to lo local stations. So we've got 14 we can choose from right here. Um, this is prepped for solar as well. Then we've got our power control system, um, our power management system. This is gonna let you know what you are plugged into right now. Our power source, we're in 30 amp service right now, and it will shed the load as necessary. So if you're overtaxing the system, it will turn off your um, rear AC or your mid AC, and it will do that to protect the system. Here's our Oasis system. This is our hydronic um, heating for our on-demand hot water and our furnace. And we can turn on the burners here. And this is our little control panel. This is the control panel or just kind of the uh, display for our 2000 watt Magnum inverter. Here are your slide controls for the off door slide out and your door side slide out. Now on the 4334, you've got four slides. This is one of the few floor plans that Numar does that has, um, that doesn't use a full wall slide. It's because we've got that special little office in the back. So I'll show you that later. So you'll have the controls for the rear slides back in the master bedroom. Then we've got our security lights. So we can just turn that on for the passenger side security light and the exterior step. You're gonna go ahead and enable that so that when you're camping, your steps don't keep going in and out every time you open up the door. You wanna lock them in place because you don't want that motor to be needlessly going in and out once you're at your camp camping spot for a while. This is another control panel for the Girard awnings. So you can unlock the system. You can change between channels. Zero is going to bring out both your awnings at the same time. One will be the front awning, two will be the back awning, and then zero is both. And you can bring them in and out, stop, and then you can turn the lights on and lights off right there. And then this is your entry door awning, and so you can take that in and out from right there. This is our control panel for our tanks and our HVAC. So we can go into tanks and we can turn our water pump on and off there it's going to tell us our battery level on our house and our chassis batteries also our fresh gray and black tanks so fresh tank on the 4334 is 105 gallons gray tank is 75 gallons and black tank is 55 gallons and this is where you can top up or auto fill you can if you're hooked into city water you can hit those options then HVAC, so you need to turn that button on if you want to power the system. And then you can set up to decide when you want you know, your AC to run, um, put in a weekly program, enable the auto gen start. You can do all that settings from here, set the program, and you can do that for your living room, for your kitchen, and for your bedroom. And it's gonna give you the temperature inside the coach and then you can go to different modes. So you're in cool mode, your fans on auto, you can also go to your furnace or you can turn it off completely or just auto. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the Ventana 4334. I think this coach is gorgeous. I know I say that about all the coaches, but I truly do. Look at the beautiful ceiling treatment to the pretty fascia. Again, the Bermuda 
glazed maple wood. This is the Colfax interior. Love the floor of the Ventana. It's sort of a mix between a matte and a gloss. Gives you a little bit of both, so it might be a little bit more pet friendly um, than some of the high gloss floors. Just something to think about. I've turned around the captain and co-captain's chairs so you can see how many people we can sit in here. So really, let's just go through it. So we could easily get three adults on the sofa, four, five, six, seven, and then you could go eight, nine. I mean, even more if you wanted to. And then you can pull in the office chair. Easily, you can seat 10 people so comfortably in this coach. We'll actually bring up the folding chairs even more than that. So you get it, you get my point though. Lots of space here. And one of the things I do love that Numar does, a lot of people will say, oh, I want a ceiling fan in the bedroom. Well, they don't do ceiling fans in the bedroom. And why is that? Because they run their AC system down the center of the ceiling. You'll notice when you look at the ceilings, you're not gonna see any vents. So you just have this pretty ceiling with the LED lighting soft plush vinyl top and then all your acs are below are above these um, pretty ceiling features so when your slides are in you're going to still have it's going to be blowing into the center of the coach it's not billowing over you know first cooling the slides and then billowing over so just something i really like that newmar does now there's lots of options that we put into this coach so again you need to call us at national indoor rv center so you can talk to one of our rv lifestyle specialists we can walk you through the ordering process. It should be fun. So you can take these, this area here, for example. We've chosen to put the recliners in here. You could also put the theater seats in here. You could put a sofa. We wanna make it work for you and what's best for you. So the recliners are very popular, very comfortable. They're manual and the control is just to the side there. And then you just push back and they're super comfortable. They'll actually go back further. You can pull them up a little bit further. They're not attached to the ground. So uh, you can push them back or turn them during transit. I also like our end table in between. We've got our cup holders. How fancy is that? So that gives you this whole counter space here for your books or lamps or whatever. And then another drawer, magazines books, blanket, lots of options. Now, back behind here, we've got our multiplex lighting system. So we've got just at the push the button, ceiling lights, accent lights, and then we can go high, low. If this is a little bright for us, we can dim those lights. Then we have our right reading light, our left reading light, and our wall lights, and our televator up and down. So it's really great to be sitting in the recliners, relaxing, and say, I wanna watch TV. Well, right now I don't have any TV to watch. So all I have to do, hit that button up. And you just have to push the button once and it comes up. You don't have to push and hold. There's our 50 inch Samsung TV. And in 2022, we've upgraded to a new Bose sound bar. So we have even better sound for our theater room here. Now behind the recliners, we've got outlets, 110 charging ports and 110 outlets on both sides. And then check out the storage that we get above the recliners. All that storage, no divider in there, so you're able to get a lot of things in there. Also wanna point out our first thermistor for the coach. So that's gonna control, that's gonna speak back to the thermostat and help you keep the temperature in your coach nice and comfortable. Now just below our wall light here, don't you love those wall lights, aren't they fun? We've got another control panel for lighting. We have another 110, two 110 outlets and two USB outlets. So plenty of places to charge all of our devices if we want them. Then as we move into the dining area here, this is the Euro Booth dinette. I like it, it seats six people comfortably and I truly mean that. So you just simply pull it out Look how far that extends. Now, I love that Numar has the support leg. It just is magnetized up here to the bottom of the table. So you just hit that and there is your support leg. I'm gonna go get my leaves 
and you'll be able to see that I can easily get six people at this. So right you now. can see that you can easily get two people on the bench, third person here in the chair, three across from you, six people for dinner, and that's pretty great. So you can seat comfortably 10 in the coach, you can feed comfortably six at the table or for cards, just a great option. So this is the Euro dinette. Another very popular option is the combination desk dinette. Along with the Euro dinette, you get storage underneath each seat. So nice full extension there. You can put plates, placemats, whatever. And then we've got storage above the dinette and another 110 outlet to the left of the dinette. On the passenger side of the coach, we have a beautiful sofa, which are, turns into a bed. So let me show you how easy it is to have guests over for the night. Now, it doesn't get much easier than that. There is your nice bed. Just throw some sheets on, add some pillows, and you've got a place for your guests to sleep. Now, another nice thing about this is that if you do have guests staying with you, look at how much of a walkway you still have once the bed is out. So, if you need to get out to take your furry friends out for a potty break in the middle of the night, you can get by the bed easily and to the front door. So the Ventana comes standard with the Villa Comfort Furniture throughout, storage above. I pointed out the new Bose soundbar. And then one thing's missing this year, so no more Blu-ray DVD player. Um, it's all hooked up, everything's in there if you wanna add your own, but that doesn't come standard this year. This is our AV cabinet, so we've got our HDMI inputs and connections there, our cable, connections, 110 outlets, everything we need, pretty much in there, ready to go, and more storage. Now you might be wondering what this is. This is a header, just like you'd have um, if you were building a residential home, and that's what Numar does. They build the Ventana just like they would build a residential home. So you have your strong foundation, your star foundation, um, whether you're on the Spartan or the Fre Freightliner chassis, then you've got your 16 inch on center um, aluminum frames in the walls, two and a half inch thick walls. So it really is constructed like a home and that's what it feels like inside. To the left of the TV, we've got two 110 outlets and two USB ports. And then we're gonna move over here to the right hand side. We've got more of the multiplex lighting system. Um, now, one of the things that comes standard, or not standard, it's an option. It's an option, but it's new for 2022, is a heated floor. How exciting is that? So before, you had to jump to the Dutch Star to get a heated floor. And I know it doesn't sound like it's a big deal, but heated floors are really nice, I promise you. You jump out of bed in the morning and it's cold, and you have a little bit of warmth on your toes, it feels great, and it just makes it feel so homey. So here's the control here. You can turn on your floor heat, and you can do high, medium, and low. And then you've got more of your overhead lighting for the kitchen as we move into the kitchen here on that multiplex lighting and your water pump. So look at the beautiful kitchen in the 4334. Look at all of that counter space. Look at the beautiful countertops that come standard. And I love the classic just square edge on that um, countertop. It looks so pretty. And we have the extendable countertop here. So I've got my napkins. I'm all ready to entertain. <laughs> And look at those full extension drawers. And then let's check out the storage in our kitchen. So we have an adjustable shelf here. Always like that option. So if you have a big like Instapot um, air fryer, you may want to move that up. I like the little spice cabinet here. More space here. And this is where our microwave plugs in. 
pull out shelf which is nice you can get to the back of that cabinet and again this is an adjustable shelf here as well lots of storage in the overhead cabinets and didn't mean to skip right by it but we've got our convection microwave oven so don't be afraid to cook in these. I have a customer that makes the most beautiful loaf of bread in her convection microwave oven. So just experiment with it, get the timing down, but she makes the Rhodes um, loaf of bread. She makes one every day for she and her husband. Then we've got the outlets underneath, 110 outlets, our LED lighting, and more outlets here. So you don't see those. Then something that you're not gonna you don't get to really appreciate right now because I've got our blinds down. We have the MCD day and night shades. But check out this huge kitchen window. That opens, it opens. So if you wanna have a nice cross breeze, you can do that. You wanna bring a little bit of the outside in while you're cooking, preparing the food or doing dishes. So great. And one of the options we put on this coach is we did the all electric package. So when you do that, you're gonna get the Whirlpool refri um, residential refrigerator, refrigerator, can't speak today, and you're gonna get the induction cooktop. So, induction cooktop, you have your cutting boards on the back side of your stove covers, which I like. Again, that extends your counter space, especially if you're not using this. Then we've got the induction cooktop. Now the pans that work on an induction cooktop are any pan that will a magnet will attach itself to. If it will do that, it will work on these induction cooktops. And they're cool because they are not hot to the touch um, once a pan's not on them. And then the other cool thing about it is that you can take this out, totally just lifts out, unplug it. You can take it outside, put it on the picnic table, um, at the campground that you're in, plug it in. You can plug it into the coach in the ba um, baggage compartments and you can cook your bacon or if you wanna have a crab boil, you can do that outside on the picnic table. Leave all that mess and smell outside. So I love that option. Look at that nice big drawer full of remotes. Don't ask me to explain the remotes to you. <laughs> That's our technician's job at National Indoor RV Centers. When you come for your delivery at National Indoor RV Centers, you're gonna spend a day with one of our technicians. They're gonna go through everything and always pay close attention to that part about the TV and all those functions because um, my husband still gets frustrated with me because I can't get it all right. So that's one of those things I don't demo in this for a reason. <laughs> Optional dishwasher. Look at those full extension drawers. And the other thing that I love is that you get soft clothes, soft clothes drawers, folks. How nice is that? And one more big cabinet here. We've got the sink covers. We've got a space for our garbage. Always like that. Two bowl stainless steel square sink. I love the residential faucet on this. Um, really nice and cool, very easy, especially when you've got a square sink to be able to get into all those corners is very, very nice. And we've got the little flip down for sponges or brushes and another storage compartment here. We're not done. Check out our pantry. So we've got the push to lock in close pantry doors. So you just push them and extend, and we push them in, just push them in to lock so they're not gonna come out during transport. We've got our central vac and dustpan, so you can just sweep everything over to the dustpan, lift that up, and it will suck it all away. While I'm down here, it's not on right now, but this is one of your courtesy lights, and I'll show those to you where the switch is um, a little bit later, so at night, um, when you get up to use the bathroom, you can hit those courtesy lights. Doesn't illuminate the whole coach, but it does help you get to where you need to be safely. Right here is our panel for our fantastic fan air vent, which is right here in the kitchen. We've also got one in the bathroom. 
Now, one of the ads that we like to do at National Indoor RV Centers is add the max air vents to the rooftop. So this allows you to have your vent open when it's raining, have your vent open when you're going down the road. So it's a nice option. Again, something that we can easily do for you at National Indoor RV Centers. Here is our second thermistor for the coach. Again, that's gonna help keep the temperature where you want it to be. It's gonna talk back to the thermostat and keep you nice and comfortable. Now, let's go just to our refrigerator. We've got the Whirlpool refrigerator with water in the door. And I've got the lock on, that's why it won't open. <laughs> so travel locks are super important. One of those things you wanna make sure you do, make sure it's on your checklist before you leave for a trip. If you want a copy of my checklist, you can email me at angie at nirvc.com and I go over a lot of that in my RV 101 series. Never leave home without it. A little Diet Coke <laughs> keeps you awake, but really nice residential refrigerator and freezer. And you've got the ice maker. Also, I'll give you another little hint like to share these. Um, one of my customers actually told me this and I've done it, it works great. Say you're taking your coach in for service and you've got a freezer full of food. They're going to keep it plugged in for you, but you want to just make sure that it always stays plugged in so that none of your food's compromised in your refrigerator or your freezer. So what we like to do is just, I should say, get a cup full of water, freeze it, put a quarter on top, put that back in your freezer. If you come back that quarter is not still sitting at the top of the cup, then you know that um, it wasn't kept cold all the time and your food may be a little questionable. So just something to, you know, for your own um, information, basically. Now, now, now to the most exciting part of this 4334 floor plan. Brand new floor plan for 2022. So we're in a new year. A lot more people are working from their coach. Um, or they just like to have a place where they can have an office and it not be the dinette. Because I know a lot of you use your dinette as the office and then you've got to clear that out to have a place to eat or you don't even eat at your dinette because it's cluttered with, you know, your files and your books and your computers. So now we have an, op we have an office option. So I love this because it just fits kind of seamlessly into the floor plan of this 4334. We've got the office chair and we've got wheels. You, they were in some of the kitchen drawers, I'm not sure if you saw them, but you can add wheels to the chair if you'd like. You've got plenty of outlets, USB 110. We've got our multiplex lighting control. Another thing that I really love about this is that I have a window right here. So if I have to be working during the day when I'm sitting in a beautiful state park, I can at least enjoy the outdoors and I can even open the window, get some fresh air. You also have a little port here so that you can thread cords through there. And then you have more outlets below, um, a little shelf there if you wanna put a printer down there. Really nice option. And you even have a little pull out tray for pens, pencils, um, sticky notes, whatever you'd like. But I love this option. I feel like more people may be working from home because they have that option now. They realize that they can. Adjustable shelves here and another little cubby up here. If you'd like to separate the front half of your coach from the back half and from your bathroom, you can easily do that. You've got a little pocket door here. You just push down and release. And you can easily give yourself that privacy in your bathroom or shut off to the bathroom and the bedroom to your guests. Then as we come into the bathroom, we've got our potty room here, and then we've got a full length mirror on the door, which is nice so you can check out your outfit um, before you're going in or after. <laughs> and nice roomy toilet area here. We've got our fantastic vent here. Again, we can get you those vent covers for your roof. Um, roof, ceiling, high low lights, and your water pump. And then we have storage and our emergency egress door. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you how it works. We've also got a window on here so you can get a little fresh air. So you're going to unlock it, open it up, then this panel e easily removes. It's just magnetized on. Set that aside, open it the rest of the way, and Velcro. 
and flip your stairs up. There you go, there's your emergency exit. Midship bathroom and our only bathroom for the 4334. I love the fact that we have the dual sinks. So for a one bathroom coach, it feels very roomy, lots of space. We've got the towel bar here, medicine cabinets, which you know I love because that space that is just so easy to access and usable and just right behind the mirrors. Then look also at the cool lighting. How about that? I love the lighting in the Ventana. I think it looks great. And our nice backsplash here. Then we've got our 110 outlet, 110 outlet here. Again, the cool shapes of the sink and it's just seamless. They just go from the counter into the sink and then the one whole faucet. So less to clean around here. Just a little details that I like. Another towel bar here and all of the storage. So much storage in this bathroom. Check out the drawer space. Again, soft closed drawers, full extension, beautiful porcelain floor. And then we've got our multiplex lighting system here so we can um, turn on our lights easy, the water pump, and again, the floor heat. More storage in the bathroom. Look how nice and deep. Ah, all the way back there. Lots of storage. So we can always use all of that, right? We have a spot for our towel and the lock on the shower. Again, that's another thing you wanna make sure it's on your checklist and more spots for towels to hang. And then a really nice size shower you step up into. You've got the flip down um, seat if you want, or that just flips right back up. If you need to shave your legs, ladies, that's easy to do here. We've got the um, fixed faucet and then we've got the handheld. So I love having the option. We have the shower assist handle here as well. And then we've got the AquaView shower miser. So this is one of those features that you will learn to love instantly, pretty much. So what happens is you redirect the water. So if you want the water to come down, you'll have this facing up. If you want to re, you turn this up so you can recirculate the water. And basically what that does is it takes the water, warms it up when you're ready for it to come out. This is going to light up and let you know that it's warm. You flip the lever and you're going to have nice hot shower. So you're not going to needlessly use the water in your fresh tank and you're not going to needlessly fill your gray tank with water just while you're warming it. I know there's lots of people that have little tips and tricks. What did I hear the other day? Um, when they're warming up the water, they fill up a pitcher of water and they use that for their coffee pot <laughs> rather than wasting that water. So you don't need to worry about that with this system. It's great. You've got the glass shower doors. We've got the skylight. So there's lots of room in here. Finally to the master bedroom. Isn't it lovely? I love the bedspread that they've given us in the Ventana. Plus we have the option. We can put in the sleep number mattress and you can customize that to each of your sides. One of the things they added last year um, in Numar products is a little extra space. So look at that. You've got a couple inches here so that you can make your bed without, you know, like feeling like you might lose a finger trying to do it. So I love that feature. Then we've got storage above and we've got a little port here. So if we want, uh, if we have like a CPAP machine, if we wanna put that up here, run the plug through there or the hose through there, there's also 110 outlet up here. So you've got two 110 outlets and lots of storage. I like to use plastic bins. I can put my sweaters or my off season clothes in here because I don't want to, you know, get in there often. It's a nice place to store it. Then we've got windows on both sides of the bed, beautiful headboard, but we can get that cross breeze too with the windows. And then each nightstand has USB and 110 outlets right on the front. So that's new for 2022. So it's super easy to charge our, um, our phones, our iPads. And then we have a little storage cabinet right below those outlets. Another great, great feature for 2022 is we've got the multiplex lighting here and we've got an all lights off feature. So that means you can get in bed, get all cozy, 
And you know how you're saying you're just going to sit in bed but not go to bed. All of a sudden you want to go to sleep and you don't want to get up and turn off all the lights. Well, you don't have to. You can do that right here. All lights off. So you have your accent lights, your reading lights, left and right. Um, you can turn off the backlight of this blue multiplex lighting system. Ceiling lights are courtesy lights. Go ahead and turn those on. And our reading light here. And then we can dim and brighten the lights. And we've got the security light for the passenger side of the um, out exterior of the coach. So all right here at our fingertips. More storage under our king size bed. So I've got one of our folding chairs. I've got the two leaves for the dinette and I've got the other folding chair in the closet. And there's still room for more. Now over here on this wall, you've got the two slide outs control for your passenger side and your driver's side in the bedroom here. We've got our third thermistor for the coach. We've got our speaker controls here and our courtesy light there at the bottom. Then we move over into the storage portion here, overhead cabinets. And we've got another little AV cabinet. So if we wanna throw in a Blu-ray DVD player here, we could add that. We've got the, again, the HDMI cords here, our cable input and a 43 inch Samsung TV. Then this nice counter space here. Check out the drawers. All that storage and soft clothes. And then three more below. So a lot of storage in this bedroom. And we're not done yet, because now we're gonna go over to our washer and dryer. This is another optional item. Splendid washer and dryer. Yes, they actually work. Yes, they agree, do a great job. I get a lot of questions um, from potential customers that are like, do people really use their washer and dryer? They really do. It makes it really nice when you're on the road traveling. And then a little spot here, you could throw in your dryer sheets and our storage, our big closet for the Ventana 4334. So I've got a big box in here right now, but it kind of shows you how much space you do have in there. And then you've got full length space in the back corner. I'll open that in a minute for you. Fuses here and your breaker box. And we're not done. There's still more safe in the back corner. And then let me just show you that space here. So full length space here. If you've got dresses or suits that you want to hang here, plenty of room to do that. I always like to show the coach with the slides in. Now this one's pretty phenomenal because not only can I easily, easily get to my bed, I don't have to take the slides out at all. Look at how much space I have in my bathroom. I mean, so much space into the bathroom here. The potty room, I can even get to my office. In this floor plan, you have so much space in the midship of your coach. Plus it's very easy to navigate through the kitchen and into the living room up to the captain's chairs. Now for the place where all the action takes place. So here at the steering column and in the cockpit. First of all, I wanna talk about these comfy, really comfortable seats. So you need to come and sit in them to really know how comfortable they are, but I promise you, you will like them. They're the Villa Comfort. Um, design chair and you've got the controls here you see a little slit there in the armrest and that's to adjust it up and down so really easy to do and then these are um, powered so forward back down up tilt you've got lots of options and you can adjust the backrest here and then you're probably wondering this little button here is going to allow you to turn the chair and make it turn it into your living room once you're stationary. And then you've got the footrest for when you're stationary. And you've got the lumbar control. So lots of options to help you get nice and comfortable. Then you've got your seat belt. And again, you can adjust that too to make sure it's hitting you at the right spot so that you're comfortable while you're driving. To the left of me here, you've got your VIN number of your coach if you ever need that. You can always find that on that yellow sticker. And then you've got your two 110 outlets there. 
To the left here, I've got the equalizer system, which is my automatic level leveling jacks. Now I can control that here, or another cool option is I can do it from my phone. So if I want to do it while I'm outside, I can easily do it for, while I'm outside. So you're just going to hit the power button and you're going to want to auto level. So it's not going to do anything because I need to have the ignition on. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on my ignition. Now you can see that the ignition is on. Now I'm going to go ahead and auto level. All right, we're all level. It stopped beeping at us. We can go ahead and power off the system and our jacks are down. Now when it's time to leave, we're going to turn on the ignition and hit retract all. A little hint when you're leveling your coach. Now, if you're on an excessive slope, if you get that warning and it won't level, you may have to move your coach a little bit and you can try again. If you get the same warning, again, excessive slope, and you wanna move your coach again and then try for a third time, you probably ought to wait. You probably ought to give it about 20 minutes um, before you try to do put your jacks down again, just because you're gonna burn up that pump if you keep taking them up and down, up and down, up and down. So just something to think about when you're going to level. Then we have our tag dump. Now I'm just gonna always keep that in auto. The only, only time that you would take it out of auto is say you, it was, um, you need to get more traction, you were in mud, um, or you were on something slippery, then you would um, take it out of auto. I'm gonna keep my air horn on all the time because I wanna make sure when I'm driving something this big that the folks around me can see me coming, hear me coming. Then we've got our two cup holders, which are great. And then I've got storage below. I can put magazines, a book, my iPad, whatever down there, even a spot for my cell phone if I wanna put it down low. Right down here by my foot, we've got a Deutsch plug. Now that's where a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can plug into your coach and get diagnostics from it. Then we have this lever here. That's going to allow you to adjust the steering column. So to make it just perfect for you, lock it into place. Up here on the console, we've got the control for our exterior mirrors, left and right, and the defrost button. Then we've got our lights. So we're gonna have our marker lights on here, our headlights on here, and then pull it out and you're gonna have your fog lights. Keep my marker lights on. Got my dome light, which is just above me. Now this is our battery boost button. Super important button, let me tell you why. So let's say you leave your coach for the day, you're out shopping, you're gone longer than you expected. For some reason you get back and you can't start your coach. What you wanna do is try to tie your house batteries to your chassis batteries and see if you can get enough power to start your generator, let your generator run, and then you'll be able to start your coach. So you push that button, tie them together, start your generator, let it run for a little while, and then try your ignition. You should be good to go. It's a super important button. Wanna remember where that's at. So then if you'll notice here, we've got the OptiView dash from Freightliner. Very easy to read, digital dash, looks very automotive. You're going to love it, I promise. And then we'll move to the steering column. So we have a lot of controls right at our fingertips, which I love. So if you see this little um, button here that looks like almost pages, if I hit that, I'm gonna get quick information information on my gauges. Now, if I want to change what's showing up because I'm in neutral gear, I really don't care that I have that showing up. So I'm going to press OK again. And press OK. And then I can scroll through and decide what I want to pop up. Now, distance to empty, that's probably more important for me. If you know me at all, that's way more important for me. <laughs> so I'm going to lock that in. And now I can go back to my gauges. Fuel economy and get information on my fuel econ economy. 
vehicle configuration. Now this one's important. It's gonna have the dash brightness. I can set up my Bluetooth here. Units, I want those to be standard. Or you could go to metric, but we're gonna stay back at standard. Steering effort. Now this is referring to comfort drive. So comfort drive, when I have the button up here at the top, I'm gonna to have more steering effort. When I'm down, I'll have less. So you can actually change this while you're driving. If you want more or less, or if you want it to be right in the middle, just lock it in. Go back to the home button and you'll see that it's still locked into the center. So go back and then reset to default. We don't want to do that. So we can go back to our home button. Again, go to that quick button for our gauges. And then we've got the plus and the minus. This is for our radio volume. So turn it up, turn it down. Then we've got our horn here. So we've got our air horn on. And now we've got our Bluetooth. So we can answer a call or hang up on a phone call. Again, having, every, having your hands always available to be on the steering wheel is what's super important. And then we have our cruise control. So this is our cruise control on. Then we will set that and resume, cancel, and we can mute the radio right here as well. Now something that's kind of cool, uh, if you are in a hurry, which I'm often in a hurry, and you want to air up your coach quicker, because you can't leave until your, your airbags are full. You wanna come in, start your coach, hit your cruise control on, and then hit the set button, and you'll hear the RPMs rev and fill up that air quicker. This is for your marker lights, so you can flash them to communicate with other drivers on the road. Um, you can flash once if you've got a trucker that's wanting to pass you. You can flash once to let them know it's safe to pull into the lane, go ahead and pass you. Once uh, you've passed a trucker, they may, um, or once he's passed you, he may flash his lights three times to thank you. You can do the same. All right, so the paddle here on my left is going to control my windshield wipers so you can increase the intensity of the windshield wipers. You can use the windshield wiper fluid if you push that in. Your turn signals, right and left. And when I do that, you can see down the full length of the coach. You can see that my slides are still extended. I'm in a parking lot, but I'll show you that when I'm driving. Then if you want to have your brights on, if you just want to flash your brights, you're going to pull that paddle forward. And if you want to leave your brights on, you're going to push it back and hold it there. So the brights will just stay on and then just bring it back to the center. So right paddle probably a little bit more important than anything else on the steering column. <laughs> so this is going to be where you go into your drive, neutral and reverse, and it's literally just, you turn that little button. It's so easy and you'll get used to it really quickly. This is if you want to manually shift. You can pull it forward to shift up, push it back to shift down, and then you'll just push it in to reset to go back to automatic. Now, one of the things that I really like this about this paddle is it's your engine brake is on here as well. So you don't have to fumble around looking for the red button over here on the left hand um, console. You just know that when it's up, the engine brake is off. One click, it's on low. Second click, medium. All the way down, it's on high. So literally, if you really want to get that on quickly, it's as easy as that. And you'll see it displayed on your dash as well. So we have the high, medium, low, and off. Your hazards are right here. You always wanna know where your hazards are. I know that sounds silly, because obviously you do, but I had to use them this morning. So I just pulled out of the dealership, thought I'd checked all my baggage doors. That's one of the things that's on my checklist. Um, missed the one with the generator compartment. I think it was shut, just not tightly. And so trucker went by, told me the door was open. So I quickly put the coach into park, put on my parking brake, hit my hazard lights, got out of the coach, ran around, shut the door, got back in because I was traveling by myself. So anyway, you always have to be ready for anything to happen in an RV. So you've got your pedal controls, your brake and your accelerator, your ignition here, and our all important parking brake. So pull to apply and push to release. Then we'll go up to our display screen here. 
and you can see our camera, our rear view camera. And you can also, I said that that camera has audio, so you can adjust the volume here so that it's higher or lower. You can also th flip through the different cameras if you'd like. Then if you want to see that bird's eye view that I was talking about, you can go over here to your menu, hit camera. This is what you're gonna see when you're traveling down the road. Right now we're in the parking lot at National Indoor RV Centers. We just have coaches next to us, but when you're out in the street, you'll find this very helpful. And then it will also, also show you your rear view picture as well. Now let's go to this screen, talk about it. So we've got our radio, media center, XM radio capability, Bluetooth, aux, our camera, and then we can go to our nav system. Now this is new, no longer Rand McNally, now it's nav and go. And the great thing about it, over the air updates. So that's all I want. Don't have to mess with doing the updates. They come over the air, that's really nice. So you can just go to your navigation system and you can just input the information like you would on a regular uh, places nearby, save the location, like on a regular system. Then you can also go to your favorites. This is where you can set channels, radio stations as your favorites, your on and off button. You also have a USB uh, input here if you want to play your own music, say from your iPhone or iPad, iPod. All right, so here we have our front visor for our day visor. That will go up and down here. Our shade for our front shade. Our overhead fans, and you can make those high, medium, and low. And then we can start and stop the generator right here and our front fan. So high, me or high and low. That will come out below here for our furnace. Now this is our HVAC system. So we can turn up the fan power, cool to heat, and then we can direct that heat. We have a little spot here for our cell phone. That's not a charging pad, just a rubber mat here so it doesn't slide around. We've got our USB inputs here, 12 volt, entry lock, and our 360 camera select. When, we're, when we've selected the 360 camera, we can change our views just at a click of the button. We've got our storage tray here for all those little miscellaneous items that we, we like to carry with us as we travel down the road. So here in the co-captain's chair, it's just as comfortable as the captain's chair, in case you were wondering, and has all the same controls, which is wonderful. So we have the forward and back, up and down. This is going to allow us to turn the chair into the living room when we're ready to do that. And then we've got the footrest, which is powered. So comfy, and that's gonna be great too when you're turned around into the living room. You've got a, another recliner. Um, two more recliners actually, and then you've got the lumbar control. Now over to the right of me, I've got the little desk that Numar gives us. So I can work on my iPad or read a magazine, read a book as we're going down the road. And it's just a nice little feature. To the right of that, I've got the con my drink holder here and I've got my step cover. So you want to put that out so that you don't happen to fall into that stairwell while you're traveling or have little kiddos or your pets fall into the stairwell. Got the map light and the patio light. That's for your front entrance door, right outside the door. And you've got a wireless charging pad for your phone, which is really nice to have. But in case your phone is um, doesn't work on the charging pad, depending on which series it is, you can use your 110 outlet, US, your USB charging ports here. And you've got a little storage cubby below. Now, something that's really nice, right when you walk in the door here is we've got this multiplex lighting pad. This is a really important one because this is the only pad in the coach where you can walk in if you hit the top two buttons, which is the ceiling and says bathroom, it's going to illuminate your ceiling lights, kind of give you a, run, a runway through the coach. Then 
Obviously you can do each one individually, ceiling, bathroom, bedroom, accent. But if you wanna turn off all of your lights at once, you're just gonna hit the two bottom buttons together, which is so nice. I can't tell you, maybe I'm just lazy, but I love to have that. Are you ready to go for a test drive? I know I am. It's one of my favorite parts of my dry job is driving the big RVs. Cause like I've said before, the vacation starts as soon as you sit in the seat because here we go. Look at that beautiful windshield we have in front of us and we get to watch the country side through it as we travel. So little, little tips. I know some of you may be nervous about driving a class A diesel. You don't need to be. I had never driven one obviously before the first time I drove and I was scared to death, a little bit white, white knuckled it down to downtown Dallas to an RV show um, for my first trip but I made it. And what you need to remember is just go slow, take your time, your RVing, so you're not in a rush, you're not in a hurry, just enjoy it. Um, the next big tip to remember is that your tires are no longer in front of you, they're behind you. So you don't start your turn until you're at the center of your front axle. So really, you know, the back part of my seat here. So you just pull your nose out a little bit further and then you start your turn you'll get used to it. I always have my customers go to a park um, that doesn't have a lot of cars and has some space for them to kind of, you know, get a feel for the RV without the pressure of traffic being around them. So again, take your time. You're going to have fun. Um, go slow. You're bigger than everyone else except those semis, but you know what? Don't even worry about them. Um, we're going to have a great time. Let's hit the road and let's go test this little baby out. All right, I'm gonna turn on my right blinker and you'll see down the whole right side of the coach so I can watch that, make sure I'm not taking out the curb. And it's as easy as that, folks. Love that. Now, when you're driving a Class A diesel, one of the things that I learned I was told over and over and over and over again <laughs> is that you're supposed to hug the left side of the lane that you're in and you'll get comfortable doing that um, just takes a little bit of practice don't stay in the left lane because that will make all the drivers mad because you know they want to get around these big rigs they think that you're blocking them um, so just hug the left side of that lane and you can watch in your mirror exactly where you're going to be and like I said, you'll get comfortable with it because everything bad happens on the right. Um, road debris, street signs, tree limbs. Those tree limbs can be really expensive. Now, if you happen to, you know, come in contact with a tree limb or something else, hard object, and you <laughs> have a little, you know, paint and body work that you need done on your RV, the place you need to call is National Indoor RV Centers. They should, we should be your first call. We will help you deal with your insurance company. We know how they work. We want you to get the most help that you can. We are gonna be there to hold your hand through the whole process, make it painless. It's awful when something happens like that to your RV. So we wanna take away that one concern from you and help you get your RV fixed and not worry about it. So give us a call. So as we're getting on the highway, you can see my 360 bird's eye view of the coach. Now, right now it's no big deal because there's nothing around me, but watch as I'm getting into pretty heavy traffic here, it's gonna be nice that I'm gonna be able to see everything that's around me and know that I can safely get over into my lane, see what's in front of me, to the side of me. All right, one of the things that I love about the Freightliner chassis is as I'm going around this um, pretty tight curve, there is no sway uh, to this coach. So it's very stable, and that's because I've got the V-Ride suspension. You can see more about that in my Fre Freightliner factory tour video if you'd like to learn more about V-Ride suspension. All right, so I'm up to speed now. I'm going 63 miles per hour and set that. This is when I love to drive the RV because it's just easy. I'm on cruise control and 66.7. How quiet is that? That's as quiet as an automobile. So I love my Ventana. This is just a nice riding coach. Again, 
beautiful windshield that you get to watch um, take your trip through. So, I love it. So, what do you need to do next? You need to come out to National Indoor RV Centers, test drive one of your coaches, pick up the phone, give us a call. We are here to help you um, any way we can. You know, there's a lot to the RV and lifestyle, and we talk to customers every day. We want this to be fun and enjoyable. So give us a call and let us help you um, start living the dream. I can't thank you enough for spending this time with me today as I walk through the 2022 Numar Ventana. Now, I'm sure you're wondering as I'm going through this gorgeous coach, what would it cost me to get into it? Well, MSRP is $449,063. If you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers 469-277. 1330. We have RV lifestyle specialists waiting to help you. We want to walk you through this process. If you want a custom order, we'll help you do that. If you want to see what we have in stock, we'll help you with that. If you want to just let us know what your budget is, we'll help you find the perfect coach for you so that you can start enjoying our beautiful country and the fun RVing lifestyle. Now remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. At National Indoor RV Centers, our goal is to make it simple. Basically, we do everything. We do financing. We'll take in trades. We take in consignments. Uh, we sell extended warranties. We want you to enjoy your coach. So don't delay, give us a call. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And remember, go and check out my paint and body video in case you ever get a boo-boo on your coach. It happens. Check out my um, Freightliner factory tour. This Ventana sits on the Freightliner. If you want to know everything about that, go watch that video. Then we've got the RVing 101 series and our AIM Club, which is our all-inclusive motorhome club. We'd love to have you come and join us at one of our rallies. Thanks so much for watching today and have a wonderful day.